Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be doing a quick little get ready with me. I am actually about to run out the door because we're going to have date night. Um, but I wanted to do a little tutorial on how you can do like a sultry smoky eye without having it too dark. Um, it is summer outside, it's 30 degrees and I didn't want to be wearing like a completely black or completely brown smoky eye. So I ended up with this peachy orange toned halo look still kind of sultry so very appropriate for date night um so yeah if you want to see how you get this look right here just keep watching i'm gonna start by prepping my skin i've already washed my face so i'm just gonna apply some moisturizer now this is the hydrogenius from l'oreal it's a very light moisturizer perfect to use underneath makeup Next, I'm gonna take some concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. And I'm just gonna take that on a setting brush from Real Techniques, and I'm going to apply that to my lids. I'm doing this to prep my lids for eyeshadow, as well as concealing any retinas or and any wanes that I might have on my lids. Then taking the translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. This is a loose powder that I use to set the concealer on my eyelids. And this also preps for any eyeshadow that I'm laying on top of the concealer. Next, grabbing my Makeup Geek C palette that I've created, I'm going to be taking the shade Morocco, which is this really beautiful burnt orange shade. And I'm taking that on a shading brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye. So the plan is to create a halo eye. So I'm applying that shade to the outer corner of my eye as well as to the inner corner of my eye. Just building up that pigmentation. And when I feel like I have it down, I'm going to take this clean blending brush. This is the Sigma E40 brush. And I'm going to blend out any harsh edges that I might have. In doing so, you kind of lose a little bit of the pigmentation of the Morocco shade. So I'm gonna be intensifying that shade by laying more of that on top of my lids. So I'm kind of just gonna go back and forth with the blending brush and the uh, shadow brush until I get the right amount of pigmentation. Then I'm gonna take this shade, this is called Americano, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna take that on a small little pencil brush. And I'm going to start shading the outer, the very outer corner of my eye as well as the very inner corner of my eye. So I'm doing this just to create a little bit of depth and I'm not applying a lot of pressure on the brush. I'm just applying just a little bit of the shade just to deepen up the look a little bit. Then I'm going to take the shade Chickadee. This is also from Makeup Geek. This is a very pretty burnt yellow shade and we're going to take that on the Sigma E40 brush and run that through my crease. Then I'm going to basically copy every step I did to my lower lash line. So using Morocco, Americano and Chickadee to finish it off. Next, I'm going to do my foundation. This is the Too Cla YSL foundation. It's really pretty. It gives you light coverage and a really glowy, dewy skin. So I'm just applying that to my face and blending that out with a brush. Then I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender and press that foundation into my skin. Next, taking the same concealer as before and applying that to my dark circles as well as any blemishes that my, I might have and want to conceal. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the concealer on the center of my lid just to free up that space from any shadow that we laid down before so we can apply a highlight shade on that center later on. Then I'm just going to set the concealer with the same powder as before, the Laura Mercier one, and setting the concealer and the foundation wherever I feel like I need to. And pressing that powder in with a dry beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna take this Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid from Becca. This is in the shade Opal. Um, it gives a super, because it is a liquid highlighter, it gives a super natural glow to the skin. And I just apply it to the top of my cheekbones as well as on my cupid's bow, just to give the face a bit more dimension and a little more of a glow. Then I'm gonna take this bronzer from Becca. This is a sunlit bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. And I'm taking that on a big fat brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to apply that everywhere the sun might hit my face if I'm going out in the sun and tanning. Then I'm gonna take this uh, this cream blush from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Fresh Melon. I've hit pan. 
It is very beat up and very dirty, so I'm not going to be showing that on camera, but it's a really beautiful peachy tone. But it is a bit used and beat up, so I'm not, not going to show that on camera. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the shade in the spotlight. This is a foiled shadow from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid. And as soon as I apply that to the center, you can already see the halo effect of the eyeshadow. So really building that up just to get the shine that I want. Then I'm doing the exact same thing on the lower lash line. And be careful not to get it in your eye because that hurts and is very uncomfortable. Next, I'm just taking a brown eyeliner. This is from Estee Lauder. You can use any brown cold pencil that you like and I'm just applying that to my upper and bottom waterline. To add a little bit more oomph to the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be taking this liquid glitter shadow. This is just from Primark. It is a dupe for the Stila ones, Magnificent Metals, I think they're called. And it's just a gold glitter eyeshadow, so I'm going to be applying that to the center of my lid. Next, I'm going to take the shade Shimmer Shimmer, and I'm going to use that as an inner corner highlight as well as underneath the brow bone. To finish off the eye look, I am taking this um, cool tone brown, this is the shade Barcelona Beach, and I'm just running that in my crease and a little bit underneath the eye as well. Then popping on some mascara, this is the Volume Million Lashes from L'Oreal, and then popping on some lipstick, this is from Lancome, it is the shade Nuit en Jure, so night and day, and it is my favorite nude shade. And that's it guys! This is the summer halo look. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and remember to hit that notification bell so that you will get notified when I post a new video. Um, I will link all of the products that I use in the description down below if you want to go check that out along with my socials, my Instagram and my blog and all that jazz. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!